The geological history of this colossal caldera dates back to approximately 40,000 years ago, when a catastrophic eruption expelled sufficient volcanic material to create what scientists call the Campanian Gray Ignimbrite. This apocalyptic event covered an area of approximately 11,583 square miles, 30,000 square kilometers, with a layer of ash and volcanic rock extending from southern Italy to the eastern Balkans. The magnitude of this ancient eruption was so colossal that researchers believe it significantly contributed to climatic changes that affected primitive human populations throughout Europe. The continuous process of volcanic activity is responsible for forming not only the Campi Flegrei caldera, but also unique phenomena such as Bradyseaism, a vertical ground movement that causes the entire region to slowly rise and fall over decades. This extraordinary phenomenon transformed ancient Roman ports into submerged ruins and elevated temples that were once at sea level to considerable heights. The caldera extends approximately nine and three quarter miles, 15 kilometers in diameter, encompassing densely populated areas that include entire neighborhoods of Naples and cities like Pozzuoli, where more than 500,000 people literally live above this sleeping giant. Currently, this vast volcanic depression houses a complex network of smaller craters, hot springs, fumaroles, and volcanic lakes that serve as direct windows into the depths of the Earth. Lake Avernus, considered by ancient Romans as the entrance to the underworld, and Solfatara, a crater that constantly releases sulfurous gases at temperatures of approximately 320 degrees Fahrenheit, 160 degrees Celsius, are just a few visible examples of the intense activity that seethes in the depths of this extraordinary geological formation. Something absolutely extraordinary and deeply disturbing is happening in the depths of Campi Flegrei in recent years. The caldera, considered one of the most monitored volcanic structures in the world, recorded more than 3,000 seismic events in the year 2024 alone representing a 600% increase compared to levels considered normal for the region. This intense seismic activity is not a common event and has put the international scientific community on maximum alert, especially because the observed patterns are surprisingly similar to those that preceded the last major eruption in 1538. The most recent data from 2025 reveals a scenario that keeps volcanologists under constant surveillance. During the month of March this year, scientists detected an extraordinary peak of Brady seismic activity, with the soil in the central region rising approximately 3 and 1 8 inches, 8 centimeters, in just six weeks. Although this elevation subsequently decreased, stabilizing around 3 quarters of an inch, 2 centimeters monthly, current numbers still demonstrate a soil deformation rate that remains significantly concerning by the region's normal standards. Simultaneously, carbon dioxide and sulfur emissions reached levels that had not been recorded since the late 1980s. To understand the dimension of this activity, it is essential to compare it with previous events in Campi Flegrei's history. During the caldera's last major volcanic crisis between 1982 and 1984, more than 16,000 seismic events were recorded in just two years, demonstrating the terrifying intensity that these volcanic formations can reach. This comparison helps us understand that, although current activity is less than that historical crisis, it still represents a red flag for the international scientific community that constantly monitors this region. The speed of this geological transformation has been truly impressive and alarming for all researchers involved. While Bradyseism normally causes elevations between 3 quarters of an inch to 1 and 5 eighths inches, 2 to 4 centimeters, per year since January 2024, this speed increased to approximately 5 and 7 eighths inches, 15 centimeters, annually until September, reaching an alarming peak of 8 and 5 eighths inches, 22 centimeters, of annual elevation in the caldera's central area. Simultaneously, Solfatara fumarole temperatures reached impressive numbers of more than 356 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius, daily indicating a significant increase in heat flow from the depths of this colossal volcanic formation's magmatic system. Professor Giuseppe De Natale, a volcanology specialist at the Vesuvius Observatory of Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, made a statement that perfectly summarizes the gravity of the current situation. According to his words, we are witnessing patterns of deformation and seismic activity that we have not observed for more than 40 years. If this caldera were located in a less populated area, preventive evacuation procedures would have been initiated months ago. 
This statement not only highlights the exceptional intensity of ongoing events, but also reveals the catastrophic potential hidden beneath one of Southern Europe's most densely inhabited regions. The most extraordinary phenomenon identified by researchers is known as magmatic inflation, a process where enormous volumes of magma slowly ascend through underground chambers, creating colossal pressure that pushes the entire caldera surface upward. The most recent observations revealed that this internal pressure reached levels that had not been recorded since the formation of Monte Nuovo in 1538, creating a geological tension situation that cannot be ignored by the international scientific community. This inflation process intensified drastically in March 2024, marking the beginning of a new phase of volcanic activity that challenges experts' previous predictions. Based on these observed patterns and continuous monitoring through advanced technologies such as satellite interferometry and high-precision seismic networks, scientists believe we are witnessing something absolutely unprecedented in modern volcanology. For the first time in history, researchers have managed to map in real-time magma movements at depths of up to 6 and 2 tenths miles, 10 kilometers below the surface, indicating that Campi Flegrei should demonstrate even more intense signs of activity in the coming months, possibly occurring at any moment between now and the end of 2026, according to the most conservative projections of computational models. Campi Flegrei's last significant eruption, which occurred precisely in September 1538, serves as a terrifying reminder of this gigantic caldera's destructive power. During that event, which lasted approximately eight consecutive days, the volcanic explosion was so violent that it created a completely new mountain, Monte Nuovo, 469 feet, 143 meters high, which literally emerged from nothing in a matter of hours. More than 24 villages were completely buried under volcanic ash, resulting in the loss of approximately 4,000 lives and forcing the permanent evacuation of the entire population of Trepergoli, a prosperous city that simply disappeared under the pyroclastic materials expelled by the eruption. Currently, a sophisticated network of monitoring equipment operates uninterruptedly at the site, including more than 50 state-of-the-art seismographic stations, dozens of soil deformation sensors based on millimeter precision GPS technology, and spectroscopic analysis systems that allow real-time observation of chemical changes in gases emitted by the region's fumaroles. This technological infrastructure represents an investment of more than 16.5 million dollars, 15 million euros, by the Italian government and the European Union, demonstrating international recognition of the critical importance of constantly monitoring this potentially devastating volcanic formation. What makes the situation even more fascinating and terrifying is Campi Flegre's colossal scale compared to other known volcanic systems. This caldera possesses dimensions that rival geological formations the size of entire cities, extending approximately 9 and 3 quarter miles, 15 kilometers, in diameter, and housing a magmatic reservoir located between 2 and a half and 6 and 2 tenths miles, 4 and 10 kilometers, below the surface. This reservoir functions as a gigantic underground pressure tank that, when activated, generates the soil deformations and seismic activity detected in the region by the most advanced scientific instruments currently available. Campi Flegre's unpredictable and complex nature represents one of the main challenges for specialists trying to predict its future behavior. Unlike traditional volcanoes like Vesuvius, where activity follows relatively linear patterns, this caldera has demonstrated erratic and surprising behaviors throughout the centuries recorded by human history. Currently, this extraordinary scientific opportunity will not only expand our knowledge about large-scale volcanic processes, but may also save thousands of future lives by improving our ability to predict similar events in other volcanic calderas around the world, including Yellowstone in the United States and Toba in Indonesia. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces of nature and wish to continue learning about volcanology and extraordinary geological phenomena, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive more quality content about the most impressive phenomena that shape our planet. In the next video, we will explore what would happen if Campi Flegre entered total eruption and how this would affect not only Italy, but the global climate of the entire world. Activate notifications, leave your like if this content was useful, and share in the comments. Do you believe Campi Flegre will erupt in the coming years, or will it continue just breathing, as it has done in recent decades? Your opinion is fundamental to our scientific community.